Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Gidon Bargza and Mikal Tal. This game was played in Tallinn in Estonia in 1971. Have you heard of Gidon Bargza? He won the Hungarian championship eight times and played on seven Hungarian Olympia teams. The opening, knight to f3, d5, g3, is named after him. It is known as the Bargza system. How many moves can Ta last against Bargza? Gidon Bargza had white pieces and he started with knight to f3, g6, g3. Bargza didn't like openings offered on the market at the time, so he invented his own opening. Tal played bishop to g7, bishop to g2, d6, d3, e5, e4, knight to c6, knight to c3, knight on g to e7, with the possibility of playing f5, bishop to e3, Tal castled kingside, queen to d2, white is a plain, to castle queenside, to exchange dark thread bishop, to push the h-pawn and to open the h-file and to checkmate Tal somewhere on the h-file. How would you defend against such a plan? Perhaps f5 comes to mind, but then white may play bishop to h6 or h4. Mikkel Tal played knight to d4 and now instead of castling queenside or kingside, Gideon Bargza played knight to e2, intending to get rid of that annoying knight. This is a very interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? You don't have to pause for too long, only for three days. Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Mikkel Tal played bishop to h3. What a move. Why to move? Knight from f takes on d4. If bishop takes on h3, then knight takes on f3 check, winning white queen. Knight from f takes on d4. Bishop takes on g2. Rook to g1. E takes on d4. Knight takes on d4. Black to move. Perhaps bishop to h3 comes to mind. Do you agree? But Tal actually wanted to plant his bishop on f3. How do you do that? You have to get rid of the defender of that square. c5 was played. Knight to b5. Bishop to f3. Preventing castling queenside, but now g4, intending to trap the bishop. But bishop called for help, and the rescue team with Apache helicopters was sent to help. d5. Bishop takes on c5. Rook to c8. Bishop to a3. d takes on e4. Opening of the e and d file is not going to help white king. d takes on e4. How would you continue this position if you had black pieces? I guess most people would exchange queens and collect the pawn on e4. Do you agree? But not Tal. He is a master of complications. He played the queen to b6 and actually Keeping the queens on the board makes sense because of the position of the white king. But let's go back. After queen takes on d2, king takes on d2, yes, bishop takes on e4, but then bishop takes on e7. But black is still winning after rook from f to e8, even if white plays this move. Knight to d6, black is still winning. Can you see how? Rook takes on c2 check, and after king to e3, rook takes on e7. Back to our game. Queen to b6. Bishop takes on e7. Queen takes on b2. 
Bishop takes a rook. Black to move. Black capture. The bishop on a fate with the rook. With the bishop over the king. Perhaps bishop takes bishop. is not a bad move. But Mikkel Tal is thinking differently. He played queen takes on b2. Bishop takes on g7. King takes on g7. Rook to c1, defending c2 pawn. Rook to d8, attacking the queen. Queen to e3, attacking the bishop on f3. How to save the bishop? Or maybe that is just a trick question. How would you continue this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and find the best move for black. Did you pause? You didn't pause. I will not show you the continuation. If you pause and find the move, you will get more pleasure out of watching this video. Okay, if you don't pause, you get only half the pleasure. Are you ready to see the move? Can we have a drum roll? The move is... Kaboom! Queen takes on C2. What a move. What a move. Why to move? King to F1 was played. The obvious move is losing on the spot. Check, mate. What else? If queen takes on F3, then... Queen takes rook, check. And after king to e2, queen takes rook is possible, or even rook to d2. How would you continue? Back to our game. King to f1 was played. Black played the move and the white resigned. And the move is rook to d1, check. Gideon resigned. In view of this continuation, rook takes rook. Queen takes rook check. Queen to e1. And how would you continue now? Then, queen to d3 check. The only move, queen takes queen. Check. Mate. This was an awesome game by Mikkel Tal. What do you think of this game? Do you enjoy watching beautiful chess games? If you do, Please purchase my DVD. It is packed with most amazing and entertaining chess games. Please click on the link below the video and reward yourself with that DVD right now.